The song, Soko Mnonye, is popular at traditional weddings, but many do not realize the voice or personality behind it, or for that matter, how old it is. The 1987 song was done by Deep Lok Segawa. When did you begin your career in music? I started my career way back in 1968, when I was barely 10 years. Because I was born in a musical family, the Mirembe family choir was a very popular choir, brothers and sisters of the same mother and father. And we did our first recording in Radio Uganda in 1968. He first formed a music band in 1982 called Deep Lock Segawa Rains, and it was mostly composed of teachers and students. In 1982, when I got the opportunity uh, to get people, my friends who loved me in the church, and then they bought me equipment, uh, that's when I started. Because, of course, I was benchmarking the musicians of that day. He got his inspiration from the legendary Eli Wamala, a Frigo band, and others. He once had a performance with them at Serena in 1997. Make peace, my friend. Let your brothers die naturally. Besides music about matters of the heart, Sega was sung about the ills in society, like the 1994 Rwanda genocide. I recorded that album in London, Friendship. Friendship was a very popular song. We recorded it in Nice Recording Studios in London. And then we performed in a, uh, Eurocross festivals. We represented Uganda. <laughs> After the introduction of multi-party politics in 2005, Segawa was apprehensive of the divisive nature of its partisan nature, sought how to prevent the polarization of Ugandans through music. You create problems in the country, then you run away and you leave us killing one another. I have witnessed politicians who were very troublesome in Uganda here. I found them in London enjoying life. <laughs> Corruption is one of the biggest cancers that continue to ravage African economies and Segawa saw it fit to his thoughts on the subject to music. He performed this before the president during the anti-corruption week at Kololo. So, our duty as artists is not to criticize per se, but to say things as they are without bias. Otherwise, if you put in bias, then you fail to reach the point. The self-made charismatic musician who has performed before the Queen of England believes his music has created impact. Because I have many people who say that they are what they are because of my mentorship. The music industry is changing every day, with new innovations where some artists sing without instruments. The audience has also changed. Some follow more of the instruments than the lyrics. This is Segawa's message to the new crop of singers. Don't yearn to be popular for the sake of it. Be yourself. Every singer, every creator has some people who like him or her. Just do your craft and there are people who like you. Do things that you will not regret when you reach 50 and you did them at 20. Segawa says he has written 400 songs, recorded about 90 and still has over 150 songs which are yet to be recorded due to lack of funds. Each song costs him about 3.5 million shillings to produce. Deep Lock Segawa sang music concerning merriment times, corruption, human rights violation, to name it all. But for the dot-com musicians, or those who are upcoming, when you are 60, will you look back at the music you've sung today and be happy or disappointed by yourself? Sudibi so Yarhanga, NTV.